Hey everyone, I'm Mark Sievers, and today I'm sharing my recipe for green apple guacamole. So there are a ton of recipes out there for all kinds of guacamole, and I thought, what can I do to change classic ingredients in guacamole, switch them out for maybe a new idea, and come up with a completely new concept? So green apple guacamole is now my favorite guacamole on the planet. So I'm excited to share it with you. Let me show you what I have. So all guacamole, of course, starts out with lots of ripe, fresh Haas avocados and some fresh lime juice. I have some parsley instead of cilantro. I have salt and pepper. I have green onion rather than red onion. I have fresh diced jalapeno that's been deseeded. And the star ingredient is green apples. So, a couple little tricks. So I have the avocados and fresh lime juice in a bowl. And I like my guacamole really chunky. And a friend of mine shared her tip about how she used to do it back in Mexico. And she used to take a really heavy glass. So this is like just a big working glass, nice heavy bottom. And she literally just, her family just pushes onto the avocado to make it really, really chunky. And I like to do this before I put in all the other ingredients because I don't want to pummel the, the apples and everything else. But this makes it really, really, really chunky, which I love. It takes a little bit of elbow grease, but considering I'm going to eat the entire bowl afterwards, a little workout never hurt anybody. <laughs> so you just kind of press it as much as you want. Again, I like mine really chunky, so that's perfect for me. And then I'm going to add in the salt and pepper. Really, really easy. All these measurements are on my website, marksievers.com, including the full recipe for this as well. So sit back, enjoy the rest of the video. Don't bother taking notes. I got you covered. Some green onion. This is wonderful. This is going to add lots of nice spice and a little oniony thing. I have fresh seeded diced jalapeno. I took the seeds out because a lot, they can, the seeds are where all the spices. I love spicy food, so if you want a little bit of heat, keep some of the seeds in. And then fresh parsley. So I love parsley as an actual flavor, not a garnish. I've said this for a long time, and it just adds a beautiful, bright flavor to this. And then I have some green apple. So you can see I have it soaking in a bowl here of water and some lemon juice and that's going to prevent the green apple from getting brown. So this is a great idea if you want to make guacamole live in front of people or right before a party. You can just soak those apples in some lemon juice and water and those will stay nice and bright green. So let me show you though the quickest way to also dice the apple. So you want them fairly small about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch pieces. And here's a little piece of apple that I have just now cut one of the halves in half, make some straight cuts, and et voila, green apple. So we're gonna put that in. This is two Granny Smith apples. And now for the you don't want to put the water in, so I just drain it with my hands. Take out as much liquid as you as you can. You can also drain it on a kitchen towel if, if you're not sure of your hands acting as a colander. <laughs> but I think that's perfect. So now we're going to mix this around. And you want to really thoroughly mix this. And this I've served as a dip. I've used it on sandwiches. It's just a great party food. It's it is a classic recipe with a new flavor profile that I really think if you give it a try, you will absolutely love it at home. So, et voila, green apple guacamole. If you like this video, which I hope you did, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to be friends with you. And head over to marksievers.com to learn more recipes, entertaining ideas, and about my two books. Until next time, bye guys. I'm gonna eat some of this guacamole. Mm. So fabulous. <laughs> Bye.